Hey, what's going on YouTube? I got a special video for y'all today. Here's what we're gonna do. We got this Game Boy SP, right? It's just a regular SP. I've been having this for a while, right? And then um, AGS001, not the special one, but I got this a long time ago and it's just been sitting in my drawer, right? And then came across, across this thing on Reddit where people are doing clear shells. So I really wanted to check that out. So I got this clear shell, right? And right now I'm about to replace it. And let's see how it looks after. I feel like it's gonna look really cool. So let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna remove this Phillips screw, which the battery is underneath. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this screw, right? We're gonna remove this screw, just the regular Phillips screwdriver. And then underneath should be the battery. I'm gonna take that out. All right, so I got the damn thing off. So <clears throat> this is the cover. You got the battery. Then we're gonna take that out, throw it to the side. Then after that, we got this screw underneath there, which is a tri-point screw. I'm gonna take that out. All right, so once you've done that, you also need to remove this screw this, that one, which I haven't done yet, this one, and this one. And once you do that, we're gonna lift the back part out and that part will come out, yeah, back piece, right? And from the back piece, you wanna salvage what goes right in there, which is this little square nut thingy. Keep that safe. And then you have the back piece, right? So what we're gonna wanna do is get these three Phillips um screws out so just take your phillips head and screw it out but don't be so quick to pull on it yet because there's the cable connector underneath so we're going to get to that next so what you want to do is fold it ever so slightly so that it's you can kind of see the ribbon cable right and then so it has two sides and you're gonna have to uh, I don't know if you can see those latches, right? That one black thing and the other black on the other side. And then you're going to unlatch that and then you're going to pull the connector out, the ribbon, uh, out of the connector. And you could probably use a set of tweezers or something to do that. So that's what you're going to do right now. You got that connector out. You just had to push the tabs forward like that. And then it comes out. So we're good with the board now. So we could take the board and just put it to the side. Right, so now we're gonna focus in on the front. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna have to take off these rubber little protector thingies, right? And there's a tri-point screw underneath each one of them and we're gonna unscrew that and then we're gonna get to the next step. Once you've taken off that front piece, there's gonna be a little screw underneath here and you're gonna wanna unscrew that. And once you've unscrewed it, uh, let me open this here. Uh, you'll be able to take off the hinge piece and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in just a second what I'm Talking about earlier was this piece. So once you've unscrewed that um, Screw that's underneath that ribbon cable this comes right out and then your screen pretty much just slides out from underneath there um, So that was good. So now all that's left to do is remove these buttons and then this hinge piece right here we're gonna need to remove these hinges on both sides and then then I think we'll be good to reinstall. Okay, so I got these hinges off. So what you needed to do was to just push down on both ends of this hinge. I don't know if you can see that. On both ends. And then, and then you do that to both sides. And then once you do that, you open it and then let it click. And then you push it out all the way. Like that way. So once you do that to both sides, you'll get the hinges. And there you go, that's the complete disassembly. I'll probably just push out these buttons. And also quick note, there was a speaker under here. So uh, just get like some kind of flat head and you'll get a speaker and like a little protector thing underneath it. So that's the complete disassembly. So now we're gonna go back in reverse order and reassemble it. And so now I'll show you the finished product. Friends, so this is the finished product. And I gotta say this looks super dope. Uh, I use the same shoulder buttons and buttons from the original SP because this came with some black and I thought it would look weird. So, um, 
yeah and it just feels really nice it feels like a really nice quality uh i'm not putting a sticker on the back because i think it looks cooler without it uh, i did mess up in a little bit um there's this little piece that's supposed to cover uh, like the leds for the power and charging thing but uh, i kind of left it off but i'll probably take care of it later uh, but other than that let me show you guys that it turns on yes sir beautiful beautiful so um looks great i'm excited to play this uh i got in other news i mean i got a easy cart omega that's coming in so that's gonna be fun i can't wait for that i'll probably make a video once i get that and also in the future i'll be doing a um the ips screen mod so um that's gonna be really interesting but for right now i'm really happy with what i have and i hope you guys found this tutorial useful um and yeah cheers